Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. It is a full body workout. We are using dumbbells today and that's it. Just five pound dumbbells. So that's all that you need. We're gonna be doing 20 moves. Each move is one minute and we are gonna transition from one to the next to the next. So make sure that you have your water if you need a quick sip. Take a break if you need to. You can hit pause, but then come right on back. If you haven't, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. We're gonna just do a quick warm up here. Each move will be done for 30 seconds. And today we have a special guest with us, Kyle over here to my right. Woo, all right, welcome Kyle. Keep up with us. Hamstring curl with an opening and closing of the chest here. So really start to open up your arms as much as you can and then bring that heel to your butt. And go at your pace. So if you're feeling like you need to just slow it down, slow it down here, all right? Maybe thumbs are up this time, pinkies in. We're gonna take this into knees coming up. So just start to pull knee up, knee up. They could be wide, they could be narrow. You could even change them here. You can use the arms even more. So we wanna get the obliques warm. Stretch out the back a little bit here. Again, you could do some front knees. Just change that a little bit. Squatting down, so squat first, then reach the arms, come on up. Sit back, reach. So drop. Try to get those arms by your ears, so butt goes back, arms reach long. Keep your eyes looking up. That's gonna engage the core, especially when the arms reach up. And when you do that reach, do you feel like you're bracing, right? You're kind of holding your breath, right? I can hear Ann over there bracing. Lunge, twist, step back, twist, and switch. Now we're, we're on a really nice surface, so my knee might touch the ground. If you're on concrete, today's a good day to not be on the driveway, right? Nice twist, keeping the shoulders over those hips when you step back. Oh. Maybe get a little crackage. All right, sumo squat. We're gonna swing down and then pull the elbows back. Drop, lift, elbows back. So it feels like you got a kettlebell. And then really bring your elbows to your back pockets here. I got crunching in my shoulders, right? <laughs> pull it back. Good, and again, slide those hands way back there. Big pull back. We're gonna kick and then march one, two, three. One, two, three. Option if you wanna reach for the toe. If it's really tight, keep it a low kick here. Don't wanna pull any hamstrings. As the leg comes up, pull the core up and in. Moving squat, we're gonna step it out to the right, step in to the left. So again, when I'm warming up, I'm gonna move in all different directions here. And this workout should go by pretty fast. Who's breathing so heavy back here? <laughs> it's Catherine today. <laughs> All right, drop a little bit lower. <laughs> Jumping jacks, tap, or go for the big jump. <laughs> and I think what's going on here, it's kind of cool in the air. <laughs> so maybe that's messing with your breathing. <laughs> Pull down. And we're light on the toes here. You can have more arm too, right? So you can really get those arms warmed up. Last move, you guys, high knees or just march. And then you wanna bring your hands cheek to cheek. That's Tamika, she told me that one. Yeah, butt cheek to face cheek, right? I'll say, I say pockets too, but 
<laughs> okay, get knees up, knees up. All right, you guys. Whew. You should feel super warmed up, right? Okay, we are ready to go. Kick back, so make sure you grab your waist. Again, we're only using fives. What are you using, Kyle? He's using tens. We're gonna turn to the side, lock in your elbows, drop your chest, kick backs. So extend the arms back, and then when you bring them home, just to your thighs. So we don't need that weight to come all the way to the shoulder. That's called momentum, and we wanna use no momentum here. And then let the shoulders be long, draw the abs in, and again, you're trying to get your back parallel to the ground. And that's okay. If you have a, a back issue, bring your, your back up a little bit here. Now we're going to turn it up. So hold at the top, palms up, just pressing up, hips, and then lift. And then try to make sure that you're kind of inward. So you can press up and in a little bit, up and in. And we're not moving very big in this movement, more on the up movement. So less on the down, more on the up. We got 10 seconds, and then we go into a sumo squat with a halo chop using both dumbbells. Squat and halo chop. So inside the knee, and then reverse that circle each time that you go up and around. Here's what you can do to make it harder. Get a little lower. Go for the inside of the foot, way low. And you can be in sumo, so heels in, toes turn out. And that core is definitely gonna be turned on here. Bend your arms. Up and around, bring it in. Woo. Big chop inside that leg. Come on, bend your knees to get down there and then Push those hips forward to come up. 10 seconds, we go to forearm plank. All right, forearm plank. Get on your forearms right now. We're gonna drop the hips for two. Rainbow to the front, and then knee to the elbow, each leg. Hip drop two, and then knee to the outside of that elbow. Now you can pick one that you like the best, or you can stay with us. You can even stay in a forearm plank. Hips drop, knee to elbow. Woo. Halfway there on this one, come on. Push the shoulders down. Nice rainbow in the hips. And then we're not gonna go far, we're gonna stay on the knees for the next move for kneeling bicep curls. You guys, we got 10 seconds. All right, on your knees. Knees are open, have my feet together. Lean back, bicep curls. Anybody wanna to turn to the side? All right, so open the chest up. Because it's a light weight, I want that weight away from the body. That makes it much harder. The closer it is, the easier it is. And what would make it harder? Oh, a little more lean back, lean back, right? <sighs> Just open. And then again, cracking up between your forearm and your bicep. Boom, fist to shoulder. Oh yes. You are seriously breathing really heavy back there, Catherine. Yeah. Whew. I think I feel a breeze coming on my neck. <laughs> All right, about eight seconds and we come into bent over fly. So we'll be standing up. Oh, I feel my backside. <sighs> All right, hinging again. Elbows bent, fly. That dumbbell comes up to about shoulder height. Have a nice neutral spine here. So you can have a little arch in that low back. If it starts to get too heavy, you know, do one arm and then the other, so alternate it. Eyes look out in front. Now this workout's a great workout when you have a little bit of time and you wanna get that full body workout in. 
hang it out here. This is only 20 minutes. <laughs> Anna, just, Anna just said she would have been fine after that last move, right? <laughs> Woo, about 10 seconds and we're doing a heel up squat pulse. Ooh, three seconds. All right, the heels are lifted. Right, we come down. Go now, guys. Squat pulse. I, to I told you, Kyle, no break. <laughs> this is Kyle's first time with us. He'll get, he'll get the gist here. So heels up. Now, everybody's got a different range here. So I'm able to get my butt to my knees. If that's not good for your knees, stay up. Even putting something underneath your heels can help you. It just quad loads you, front of the legs. Feel those quads? Yeah. No, you're good. Your calves are there in an isometric hold. I was just checking to see if you shaved your legs. I have not. Oh! Not been tight in a while. Woo. All right, looking good here. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over the hips here. We come to a core move next. All right, sit up and punch. So come up, one, two, down, up. Go for it, you guys. Nice rotation here. Weight stays right in front of that chest. So we don't want to swing it. We want to bring it up to that core. Woo. Yeah. Cal's gonna enjoy this. He'll be like, man, these girls just kick my butt with just 10 pound dumbbells. <laughs> nice rotation, nice big punch here. We're going to be coming into alternating lunge back. All right, come on up. Lunging back, alternating. Weight can stay at the shoulders and stay low. Alternate those lunges here. It could be one dumbbell or it could be two. I like two because they're not heavy. And again, this surface is really soft. I'm going to let my knee kiss the floor here. Another option if you want more core, keep the weight up. Oh yeah. And again, staying kind of with those bent knees here. I always say though, if we only have a short amount of time to work out, give me all that you can, right? Woo, we good? All right, you guys good at home? Woo, come on, go for it. We're gonna be going back into the core. We got a Russian twist coming up here. Come on down, one or two dumbbells. We're twisting, feet can be up, feet can be down. You can be slow, you can be fast. Pick your tempo. Big twist, ring out the waist here. I'm letting my weights tap the ground as far as I can twist. Keep a little openness in your chest. Eyes look out in front. This is when you might burp a little bit, right? <laughs> All right, you can feel it. Ooh. A drink of water. All right, 15 seconds. We're gonna be standing. One arm shoulder press <clears throat> with a knee lift. So we'll reach the arm up, and as it comes down, the knee comes up. We'll start on the right. All right, we're up. <clears throat> we're starting with this arm here, and we pull that knee up. We'll switch halfway through. One arm, right? Elbow to your back pocket here. <clears throat> and I'm kind of rotating my hand. It's gonna face you, and it's gonna face me as it comes down. I'm touching my, right there on that outer thigh. Switch it. 
this arm wherever it wants to be. It wants to be in my hip. Exhale when you pull it down. Uh. Ooh. Listen up. On your stomach, knees are open, they're bent, heels together, we got frog. So we're on the stomach, knees open, they're bent, heels together, lifting the thighs from the ground, then releasing the thighs. <laughs> and they're not lifting very high. Here's another, here's a little, here's a tool you can use if you're prepped before this. A towel underneath your hips, you can sometimes your hands underneath your hips. Depends on the surface of your floor, but it might help you with the range of motion. Ooh. If you're bony in the hips, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> said, oh, okay. <laughs> so relax your head and shoulders and squeezing the backside. This is gonna get your glutes, this is gonna get your low back. Most efficient and effective with this time today. Come on, up, squeeze. We're not gonna go very far for the next move. <clears throat> We're gonna be flipping for single straight leg kicks with the dumbbells reaching back. <clears throat> Flip it on your back, hurry up. <clears throat> Scissoring the legs. And I have my arms near my, bi my biceps by my ears here. Head should be up. If your neck is kind of like, whew, it's a little tight, drop your head down. Push that back. You want to anchor it into the ground here. But again, if you want more challenge, right, lower the legs a little bit more, more of a flutter. And then the arms reach back a little bit more. Oh, yes. Woo. Breathe. Come on. We're not going to go far from this movement. You got 15 seconds. <laughs> Lots of real deep breathing going on now. <laughs> We're gonna have chest fly with a marching bridge coming up here in three seconds. So we're gonna be bending the knees, opening up the arms, right? And as I bring the weights up, a knee comes up and I switch. And if you're like totally confused, just fly and you can stay in bridge. You can either kick it or just bring the knee into the chest. Just don't hit your knee with your weights. Did you do that? Okay. <laughs> A kick is good, like if you kick, if you kick your foot, you're gonna be a little bit safer. So if you feel like you're accident prone this year, it just seems, this year seems to be the year of everything, right? Come on, fly, right through the heels of the hands, guys. Push those hips up. Ten seconds and then we come to all four. And I'll give you an option with weight, but you don't have to use the weight for the next movement. Flip it, extend your right leg back, and then from there it's down lift. So the right leg is gonna lift and lower. If you need to be on your elbows, you can. If you want a little bit more, right, you can reach, palm up. You wanna, you wanna do my five? Of course, why not? Palm up. A little reach. Yep, opposite. So I got right leg, left arm. Three seconds, two, switch legs. <sighs> yeah. Nobody else has the weight? All right. That's all right. No weight is perfectly fine. It's a little tougher. Ooh. And then we're not going to go far. We'll flip it for C curve. Sit up with the arms holding onto the dumbbells with a reach. Good, I'll take it back. So tuck under. Holy cow, I'm sweaty. Tuck under. Right, right there in C curve. <laughs> Stay right there. So drop your chin down. Look to your thighs. Tuck your tailbone. So just below the belly button is hitting the mat here. If it gets hard, right, bring the weight closer to your body, the further away, right? You can feel your arms being in an isometric hold here. Strength and stillness here. 
And in the last few seconds, we're just gonna settle in stillness here. And then I'm sure I'm gonna hear everybody breathing. Hold it, right here. All right, so hold. Roll your shoulders back. Tuck your tailbone. Maybe walk your feet in a little bit. Tuck your tailbone more. Maybe you can lift the heels. Feel the goodness there. Sumo squats are coming up here in a few seconds. Three, two, one, you're up. Sumo squat for two and then sweep in. Right, down two, right leg sweeps. Boom, down two, left leg, sweep in. Turn the feet out. Oh, I like a little hop. Down, hop, in. Why not? <laughs> it's a fast workout. Two, sweep. When you sweep, right, it's like a inside of the foot. So we use the core, the inner thigh. I'm seriously, we're gonna mic up Anna next time. You can hear her. They're just talking about the 10. 10 might be good, but fives are great for me. Sit up, legs up, crunch. Legs up, reach. You could do one dumbbell. Go. Reach for those legs. Woo. Well, you do feel the core more, right? Because we're moving in such big compound movements. And then I think mentally, we're like, oh my God, this is like a only 20 minute workout. And so you feel like you're probably moving faster and you use the core to move faster. Come on, reach for the shoelaces. Carol's the one that can touch those shoelaces, I think. She's got the longest arms. Woo! Long legs, too. Eight seconds, we go into a plank, and we slide the dumbbell, one dumbbell, from one side to the other. So flip it. So the weight starts to one hand, grab it, slide it over. It can kind of stay below you. So plank. Slide over. I can drop the knees, right, and I can still work. Woo. So again, just pick it up, drop it over. And then open up your base, right? So you want to have your feet opened to help you out. Great option with the forearm plank Anna's got for you. How's everybody doing behind me? Good, they're good. <laughs> Everybody at home, you guys are doing good. We're getting close to the end, I'm, I promise you, right? Eight. I was counting it for you. <laughs> we got a crunch with one dumbbell. All right, flip it on your back. Crunch, dumbbell behind your head, legs down or legs up. This back here, I'm doing this nice crunch. So your head weighs about eight pounds. We just added Anna's waist 12. What do you got in your head, Anna? She's got issues in her head. That's what's, that's what's weighing you down. <laughs> so if you want more of a challenge, bring your legs up. Remember crunch. I want a little speed in the crunch. Halfway there. <laughs> this is like we're running like a sprint here. These guys. <laughs> Are you at home breathing this way? You can comment below. Ooh. Hey, you guys, we got one move after this. And it's another stillness move. So I'll give you the, ch the opportunity to keep away or not. Three, two. All right, so crank your head up. All right, take the weight away. Lift it over your chest here. Extend the legs up to the ceiling and then start to lower everything down to the ground and then find a spot here. If you want to do a little rocking in the hollow hold. Oh my God, I gotta take a break. That's really tough, what was I thinking? Yeah, but try to keep your legs low, don't even bring. So if you do the hollow rock, you stay really tiny. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> All right, the mic needs to go on somebody else because I'm breathing heavy now. 
<laughs> Hold it. 20, I'm sweating. 24 seconds. Push that back into the mat. Best you can. Breathe. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, so if we got 12, 11, I'm gonna hold the last 10, how about you? Everybody, holding the last 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Seriously, you stop before the buzzer. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Woo, all right. Oh my gosh. Oh, my back is lift. I know my back is lifting. Your, your body, so what happens there is your body is like fatiguing. So it's, it's using everything that it can to hold it in. Oh my gosh, you guys, you did awesome. Woo. Woo. So I was gonna have a stretch for a few minutes, but I thought, why not? I know you've got five minutes. We're gonna throw in a little five minute. Remember all those movies, movements we did in the beginning for the warm up? Well, guess what? We're gonna do them again, and we're gonna turn it up a notch. We're gonna turn it up a Michelle notch. Yeah, you don't need weights, guys. Get ready. It's a hamstring curl, right? Right here, but I'm going here. Ready? Here we go. So heels to the butt and you're opening and closing the chest here. So it's 30 seconds. Light on the balls of the feet, cross in, exhale. Again, you can change the hands, thumbs up a little bit here. You can go back to that lower intensity if your knees are bothering you. All right, knees up right here, it's a little hop. Hop, it can be front knee or side knee. You can combine the two of them too. Hop, I can be here. I don't have to hop. Yeah, it is. Well, you better keep thinking it's a fun dance, right? We got some squats coming up here. Squat hop or just speed squats. Blood pumping, heart rate is going up. And again, you can just stay with those heels on the ground. And we got lunges. Ooh, alternating back lunges. Five seconds. This leg will go back first. Lunge, lunge. You can do a little hop switch with a little twist. You could take it into complete lunge jump. I'm just gonna do a little up switch. Woo, come on legs. A little twist if you can. Woo, oh my gosh. Sumo's position, swing. Down, up, up. If you want to, pull, pull back. Boom, back. Boom, use your arms. Hey, I'm pulling my elbows from my back pockets. How about you? Use your arms. Down, up, eyes lifted. Yeah. I'll change the next one though, because your legs are on fire. Plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Open your feet a little bit. Hey, wouldn't be a turn up if it wasn't for a little jack and tap or tap out one jack and tap no come on jack and tap here we go now you get some arms let's go all right jog you do a one two double like the double double one, two, double. Bring your hands cheek to cheek. One, two, hop. Looking good. Oh yeah. Keep that rhythm. Pretty lateral lunges. Step out, step in. Other side. Woo! That's right, I got you. I'm good. Option, 
touch the floor. Boom. Bend the knees. You can reach up, reach down, level up, or stay where you are. Level up, level up. Right on. Jack. <laughs> All right, who's bringing it here? Oh. So, zip up in that jack, right? Last 15, air, air jack, air jack. You can do squat jack. Use your arms. See, I was worried about it not being hard enough for Kyle. High knees, here we go. This is it. I think he's the sweatiest of us all. I brought, I brought the wipes, so I brought the Clorox wipes. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. You feel the love though? Come on. Let's go. Eight, seven. Three, two, one. Woo! Done. Nice job. High five. You did awesome. Woo! Catch your breath, right? Feeling good. All right. Whew. Let's just do a nice reach of the right arm. Lift it up. A little side bend here. Oh, get you out of here. That was a quick workout, you guys. You got it all. You got legs, arms, core, cardio. Right? No messing around today. Bring that arm in front. Yeah. Yeah. Today is Monday. Oh. <laughs> We're filming on Friday, but it's, it's Monday. Whatever day it is, it's an awesome day. All right, lunge back. You can drop the knee. It's just whatever day you're doing this, it's gonna be a great day. It's, every day is like, every day is, either a, every day is either a Monday or a Friday, right? All right, you can, you can add a rotation if you want to. It depends on the surface that you have your foot on or your knee on. We're on a really soft surface. I'm pulling back, doing a quad stretch here. And then release, lunge, plank and switch. Again, knee can go down, chest comes up. You can add rotation. That's such a great place to go. If you want to reach back, quad stretches. This is something that's really hard for you to do. I'm telling you, you need to really make sure you're doing it or doing a, another version of this. Right, release, give me a nice straddle, turning front, <sighs> head goes down. I think everybody's breathing is under control. You know that your heart rate has, has dropped. Grab your elbows and just swing a little bit side to side. Rocking, you know, rocking is very, like this rhythmic movement is so good for your body. Think of when you're a baby and you get rocked. It's like a comforting. All right, settle, and then bring those feet in. We're gonna finish off with a roll up, and then reach out to the side, reach up to the ceiling, and pull it down through your heart center, and have some gratitude, because you, my friend, just took such good care of your body today. Woo, have a great day, thank you guys. Thank you, and again, thank you guys. You have a great day. Hope you enjoyed that full body. Comment below what you guys like to see, what you wanna see more of. No negative, only positive. Take care.